My name is Lennox McGarrow. I've been a member of Dear to Imagine for about three months, but I've been coming here for a little bit over a year. My life was pretty fine. Um, I went to church in general before the hurt. I had one of the best days at my previous church that I had in my existence at the time, and it was perfect. And the moment of leaving out this service, I get into the car and got a call from my sister with a scream that chilled my entire body that we lost all our family back home. It questioned my faith to the fullest because now it gave me like, I just had this great moment in church, like enjoying it to where I was like, oh man, I can't believe this is that great. And then the moment it happened, complete tragedy. It just pushed me back. Like I didn't want anything to do with church. I didn't want anything to do with God. I just felt like this isn't it for me. I'm backing off, I'm done. Dare to imagine I discovered due to my fiance. She had been coming here before me. It felt so homey and it gave me that homey feeling, which a lot of churches you kind of don't always get. Once you get involved, everyone knows you. Everyone is one of your friends. Everyone wants to kind of talk to you. So it kind of just felt right just being there. The first person I talked to after service when the pastor shook my hand, introduced me, he dragged me over to Brandon. The moment I hit Brandon and talked to him, it was just like, man, he felt like my brother. Like I've been knowing this guy for years. And it pushed me back like, hmm. This seems too good to be true. I'm not about to let this get too close to him because I know something's going to happen. And the moment I felt myself doing that, he gave me a call. And I was like, hey, you know, I'm just checking in on you, how was service? And we talked for almost like four hours that day. Thank you, because it took me a while to get where I'm in, where I am now. At times, I felt like taking a step back of not doing this anymore, but I had people in my back that kept pushing me like, you got this, you got this. And Thank you. I appreciate everyone here and everyone to me and here with the family.